In this analysis video, we'll assess whether this company presents itself as a promising long-term investment option for you and whether the current moment is opportune for purchasing its stock. For this stock analysis, let's set aside the news for the time being. That's my approach, and I encourage you to do the same. Our focus will solely be on examining the company itself. Should any news emerge causing a dip in the stock price, you'll be equipped to discern whether it presents a favorable buying opportunity. However, for the scope of this video, let's focus our attention on the company's fundamentals. In this video, our analysis will be divided into two main categories. The business aspect, which accounts for 75% of the evaluation, and the pricing aspect, which comprises the remaining 25%. In terms of the business aspect, we'll examine eight key metrics to determine if they provide a more comprehensive understanding of the company. Additionally, we'll compare these eight metrics with those of the S&P 500. I believe this comparison offers a more insightful perspective on the company, as it allows us to gauge its performance relative to the broader market. In these eight metrics, the initial four, growth, efficiency, dividends, and effectiveness are ideally sought to be high. Conversely, the latter four, speculation, relative value, mood, and opinion are preferably lower, ideally below the S&P 500 benchmark. Feel free to pause the video for detailed insights into the rationale behind selecting each metric. Here, you'll find a comparison of the eight company metrics with the S&P 500. Metrics highlighted in green are awarded two points, while any in red do not receive points. The total points are divided by the maximum possible, resulting in a grade number, representing our company's business grade out of 100. Next, we're going to look at the price which has only one metric. The fair price is determined using a discounted cash flow model with a 10% margin of safety. Consequently, the stock can be categorized as either expensive, overvalued, fairly priced, undervalued, or a bargain. Here, you'll find the company's fair price alongside its deviation from the current market price, indicating whether the stock is over or undervalued. We utilize a grading system consisting of 10 levels to evaluate the stock's valuation. A grade of 50 signifies the stock is fairly valued at present. Grades above 50 indicate undervaluation relative to the current stock price. Before we put everything together, join my Patreon. You'll get access to the grades of hundreds of companies and ETFs. It's updated all the time. Link on the screen and in the description. Finally, we're going to put the company's business and price grades together to get our final grade. Displayed here is the ultimate grade for our company, assessed on a scale from 0 to 100. Any grade below 50 suggests it's not currently advisable for investment, while a grade above 50 indicates it merits consideration. It's crucial to bear in mind that external news can significantly impact circumstances and this analysis provides insight into the company itself rather than the external noise surrounding it. Subscribe for more analysis videos. Invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.